Uh, breaking news at 8 a.m. Uh, what could be the most pivotal moment in President Biden's career happening in an hour's time? The under siege commander in chief taking questions from reporters in a real live press conference and what he hopes will assure voters and his own party that is what it take he has what it takes to defeat convicted felon Donald Trump and govern for four more years. But there's been an interesting gap. Let's go live to US, uh, US correspondent Jonathan Kersley, who's in Washington, D.C. for us. John, breaking news just in. The press conference has been delayed, but we've also got some other news. Yeah, it's been delayed by around about a half an hour or so, but all of that has been now surpassed by another slip-up from the Commander-in-Chief, the 81-year-old Commander-in-Chief, who's already been under pressure over his public performances, appearing alongside Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky just moments ago. He referred to him not by the name Vladimir Zelensky, instead Russian President Vladimir Putin. Here's how that panned out. And now I want to hand it over to the President of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. So he tried to pick it up, but this really was just another slip up and not exactly the best timing at all for the commander in chief who was going into a press conference, a packed room of journalists who'll be asking about whether or not he is fit enough to stay in the race. There's been concerns from Democrats about his public performances, about mishaps on stage after that disastrous CNN debate some 13 days or so ago now. That recent moment, just moments ago with Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky adding to those concerns. Let's see how the president responds in the next hour. I, I don't know, John. I, that, that's it. He's now finished. I, I, I cannot see a, another this way forward. This is going to be a huge concern He's for done. Democrats now because they're... Yeah, this is the huge concern now. There have been Democrats reportedly lining up all day today ready to say that they want Joe Biden to move on from the nomination and this is only going to add to their concerns. How quickly and how publicly they come out in the wake of this, well, that remains to be seen just yet. We remember Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, had said, let's give Joe Biden until the end of the NATO summit. Let's give him the decency and the respect of the office to get through this big international conference. But right at the end of it, there he goes stepping into the big war that he's been talking about, Ukraine, and now he's referred to Vladimir Zelensky as President Putin. Time may be ticking now for the 81-year-old Commander-in-Chief. I, I just I just want to, uh, and, and this, is, this is just awful what's happened, right? But this is the leader of the free world, and, and this moment, I don't think he can get, he can come back from. And now I want to hand it over to the President of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. Charlie, the thing is, I mean, the Republicans are waiting because of all this infighting within the Democrats, right? They're just sitting back now and letting this all happen, all unfold before them. But the Democrats, they have to act. The convention's in, what, a week's yeah. time? Surely they do have contingency plans in place here. They, they must. No, the Democrats have got their convention uh, in about a month or so's time. The Republican convention next week expected to formally anoint Donald Trump as president. Right now, the Republicans don't really do need to do anything. If Joe Biden remains the candidate beyond that formal nomination process uh, next month, then really they already have ammunition up their sleeve that they can take uh, to voters and use on likes of social media and attack ads and everything uh, that you can imagine that Donald Trump will use them for. For the Democrats now, this is only going to add to their concerns as I mentioned, really the clock now is ticking down. This is going to increase the pressure on US President Joe Biden. We've heard reports, Democrat leader in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, wants to meet him urgently this weekend. Uh, this is now starting. You feel like the ball rolling before a tap on the shoulder perhaps comes from somebody very close to him to say, President Biden, perhaps now it's time to pull out. Yeah, he'll be lucky to make the weekend. Um, Jono, thank you so much, mate.